Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader here for Mr. Top Step with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Uh, so, 15-minute chart of the ES. Uh, the China PMI data last night was below 50. The market didn't like that, but what you can see here is we've got this daily and three-day pivot zone from 1453.92 to 1454.67. That's acted as resistance in the overnight session. We've gone down to break the key 1447-1448 level and have done a 1445 quarter low. So the issue for me today is we've got this little bounce here on the 15. Is this going to be a lower high relative to this move to the three-day pivot? If it is, do we break 1445? We may be ready to see some genuine weakness today, but you could have said that yesterday as well, and the bears just really could not close the deal. We're getting back into that kind of a situation where the bears are having trouble following through. Um, yesterday's trade was a situation where we rallied off the open, we hit the uh, the upper volatility level that the folks in the IM and the folks on my service use, and we were able to to enter a couple of shorts using that as as resistance here uh, at noon and and then uh, for the for the afternoon sell off. So the upper level was pretty reliable yesterday, uh, and 1458 remains a key uh, resistance level. Let's look at the daily chart real quick. Okay, so this is a daily chart. I've kept the, the, the Fibonacci levels up. Um, we finally kind of achieved a breakthrough of this 23% retracement. It had been very sticky for four days, or for three days, rather. Okay, And you begin to become concerned when you have Bollinger Band punches like this because you want to see them reverse themselves and start to come back towards that upper band in two to three days. And like I said, you know the, the bears didn't follow through, but then again, the bulls did not get it done yesterday either. They had their chance as well. Everybody had their chance. So the bears are trying to run with the ball using, um, using this China data as kind of a jumping off point. If 1450 stays above us, then... Uh, you start to see the 1440 level, which I talked about last week and earlier this week, as being so important as looming on the horizon. So that would be my next area of key support uh, below 1447, 1448. So just some things to look at today. If we do begin to reverse ourselves, there's no reason why this market can't go down and test that green line, which is the middle Bollinger Band, because that's what markets do. They revert to the mean. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Train them well, everybody.